Hello everyone, Vincent Hill from HDTV Test here. In this video, I am going to talk about certified HDMI 2.1 cables, specifically known as the official name of ultra high speed HDMI cable as stipulated by HDMI Licensing Administrator, who is the organization responsible for licensing and testing and certification of all these HDMI cables. So I think, you know, a few weeks ago, I had this crazy idea of trying to buy in a bunch, in fact, every HDMI 2.1 cable that are on sale on Amazon, trying to get them in and then testing all of them using the RTX 3090 card connected to an LG C9 because the LG C9 has an HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. But I have since scrapped that idea because these certified HDMI 2.1 cables have actually reached the market, so there's really no point for me to do that sort of test anymore, especially considering that now you can actually buy a certified HDMI 2.1 cable for really cheapest chips. You know, they are not really that much more expensive than those cheap cables that you can actually buy on Amazon. So let me first start by saying that, you know, even though I'm using the term certified HDMI 2.1 cable in this video, it is not actually an official name that is recognized by the HDMI forum or the HDMI licensing administrator. The official name that they have actually come up with to certify all these HDMI 2.1 cables that are capable of passing 48 gigabits per second bandwidth and also be compliant with all the HDMI 2.1 features of eARC, ALLM, VRR, 4K 120Hz, 8K 60Hz. The name that they have actually decided to settle on is Ultra High Speed HDMI Cable. So when you search online, when you go on Amazon, when you Google, you know, this is the term that you need to actually be searching for. Ultra High Speed HDMI Cable. And any cable that bears this Ultra High Speed HDMI Cable name or logo will need to pass a stringent set of certification testing and compliance protocols from the HDMI licensing administrator at an authorized test center, also known as ATC. So here I have a bunch of Zeskit ultra high speed HDMI cables. You know, they are probably one of the world's first, if not the world's first, and I showed them working, you know, in some of my previous videos. But today I'm going to be talking about what you should be looking for when you're actually out shopping for an ultra high speed HDMI cable. So I think, you know, the thing to realize is that the HDMI 2.1 cable that ships with the Xbox Series X is about two meter long. And the one that ships with the Sony PS5 is 1.5 meter long. I think, you know, for those runs, they work perfectly fine. So if you are not actually having any problem with those cables in terms of getting 4K 120 from the console to your TV, you know, there are no sparkles, no screen blackouts, no dropouts, and you know, the picture looks fine, then I don't think, you know, you need to actually invest more or buy an extra cable. You know, those cables will work fine. And the reason why you may need a new cable is because you desire a longer length, you know, don't we all? And the thing is that, you know, here I have two 3 meter cable from Zeskit. I think these are the ones here. And two 5 meter cables from them as well. And all these are certified as ultra high speed HDMI cables. And the 3 meter one is braided, so there is no, say, label or name on it as, at all. But you know, if I look at the 5 meter one, there is clearly a label on it that says ultra high speed HDMI cable. And you need to realize that you know any cable manufacturer can put that sort of name on top of their cables. But the key to determine the authenticity of these cables that they have actually been certified by an ATC that they have passed the stringent test is that you need to look for this label and this hologram here. It says ultra high speed HDMI and then you know there is a hologram there and I'm going to use the HDMI cable certification app, you know, which you can actually install on any iPhone or any Android phone. I'm using my Samsung Note 10 Plus here, and I'm going to scan this cable and show you what it actually looks like. So I will need to scan it, you know, with the lights on. 
because you know under poor lighting it won't scan and you know you can see that the first one passed and then I'll go for the next one and we'll scan the next one and then you need to actually rotate the hologram slightly you know to make sure that it scans properly and it passed and then we'll go back again and then you know I'm facing the light just to make sure right and you can see that you know it's a uh, another congratulations and last but not least let's uh, try and scan the last one Right, you know, all four passes, you know, I'm having more success here than at a self-checkout in Tesco. And, you know, the thing is, you know, at Tesco, I always get flagged up for random checks. I don't know why. Maybe it's the hat I'm wearing, you know, a bit dodgy. But, but yes, I think, you know, the way to tell that, you know, a cable has been certified as ultra high-speed HDMI cable is basically, you know, look at the packaging, you know, if they bear this logo and this hologram with the barcode then if you scan it using the HDMI certification app and it passes then you know you have some sort of guarantee that you are getting a cable that is capable of passing the full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. Now I have actually tested these cables using you know the Denon X2700H receiver. There is a secret cable test function on these 2020 AV receivers from Denon and Marans. And the way you test it is to plug one end of the cable into the 8K in port and then plug the other end of the cable into the 8K out port. Now this Zeskit 5 meter cable, it's quite long and thick. So there's some difficulty getting it in. And then, you know, you can ask the receiver to start a cable test and they will send a signal that is rated up to 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth through the cable to see whether it received the signal fine on the 8K in port. And the reason why the receivers are only able to test up to 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth is because, you know, the chipset itself it came from Nuveton technology. You know, it is a Panasonic Semiconductor Solutions chipset, so it is only capable of 40 gigabits per second. But in addition to that, I also use these cables to connect an RTX 3090 card to an LG C9. And the LG C9 is known to support up to 48 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. And in the NVIDIA control panel, I made sure to select 12-bit RGB chroma, so we will get the full 48 kbps per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. And indeed, you know, all four cables, you know, they all successfully passed 12-bit RGB 4K 120Hz video signal from the RTX 3090 to the LG C9, meaning that 48 kbps per second of bandwidth, you know, has gone through this cable successfully to the screen. And even after I ran some pendulum demo, you know, the signal is stable. There is no dropout, there is no flickering, there is no black screen, there is no sparklies on screen. So I think, you know, from this point of view, I think these cables are good. And the fact that they are actually certified, they have this logo and this hologram. And the fact that they have been tested by an authorized testing center as deemed appropriate by the HDMI licensing administrator means that if you need a cable that is longer than the one supplied with the Xbox Series X and also the Sony PS5, then you know you can go for these cables. I mean, these are the ones that I've actually received. You know, I'm sure there are probably other ultra high speed cables on the market as well. They are slowly getting into the market, you know, filtering through hitting the market. And the thing is that how should I put this? You know, I think, you know, when doing the Denon receiver test, you know, some of you will have Denon receivers and Maran's receivers as well. Some of you may have noticed that even if you actually run an older cable, let's say, you know, from 
maybe even before 2016, you know, some of these cables actually would actually pass this 40 gigabits per second cable test as well from these receivers. And I'm not surprised, you know, because, you know, these cables, you know, they probably, especially on the shorter runs, they can pass higher bandwidth than what was originally planned for. But I think, you know, there is no guarantee that they will pass, you know, there is no certification process. So it is entirely pot luck whether, you know, you get an older cable that will pass or they will not. With these ultra high speed HDMI cables that have been certified, you know, you get some sort of guarantee, some sort of like certification that, you know, it will definitely pass 48 gigabits per second. So let's say if you are running into some trouble getting a stable signal from your HDMI 2.1 source device to your HDMI 2.1 display and you need to go through the steps to troubleshoot and I think you know one of the easiest way to eliminate a cable issue is to just get an ultra high speed HDMI cable that has been certified by an authorized testing center from HDMI licensing administrator and after that you know you need to go through the steps make sure the firmware on your source device is up to date make sure the firmware on your display is up to date make sure that you know every single component within your video chain is up to par in terms of passing the HDMI 2.1 bandwidth then make sure that the settings on these receivers or the displays are correct because you know there are certain settings that need to be enabled in order to unlock HDMI 2.1 so these are the steps that it's necessary for you to actually get a stable 4K 120 or 8K video signal on screen. But, you know, at the base of it, you know, the easiest way to rule out any problem with a cable is to just get a certified ultra high speed HDMI cable. So I hope you have found this video useful in terms of what to look for when you are looking for an HDMI 2.1 cable, I get these questions all the time and I think, you know, hopefully this video will go some way towards clearing up some confusion and to advise you that you need to look for the specific term of ultra high speed HDMI cable and also look for this logo and also this hologram. And oh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that, you know, the HDMI licensing administrator has changed the logo slightly. So previously, in the old days with the premium HDMI cables, you can actually present a photo and scan it using the app and it will pass. But with the ultra high speed HDMI cables, you will need to actually present this box physically. So look at me, you know, with my hands. <laughs> so you will need to actually present these boxes, you know, or this packaging, you know, physically and scan it before it will pass the HDMI certification app test. If you like to learn more about HDMI 2.1 and next-gen consoles, I created a playlist here. If you'd like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video.